Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to give you guys a quick little Adobe After Effects tutorial showcasing you guys how to export your videos and what settings to use while you're exporting, or rendering as they call it. This tutorial was requested by a user named Tutorial Monday, who states, I've always been wanting to know the best rendering settings on After Effects for videos. Is be happy if you can do a tutorial about that. And please mention me, I'm a big fan. So there you go, Tutorial Monday. We're going to show you guys the best After Effects export settings. Or rather, we're going to show you how to export and choose your own settings using After Effects. So here we have an Adobe After Effects project, which was basically me just screwing around with a whole bunch of particles and smoke and making my logo zoom in and it's all blue and stuff and let's say I want to export this as an MOV file so that I can use it as an introduction or just an animation in one of my videos. To do that we're going to make sure we have the entire composition open and selected right here and we're going to go to composition and add to render queue and that will drop the composition into the render queue tab as you can see right here and as you can see we have quite a few different options right here. We have an option for the render settings, the output module, and where to output it to and all of this good stuff right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's outputting to the correct destination. So if you click on this little yellow thing that says comp1 next to output2, you can choose what the file's name is and where to save it to. So we're just going to keep it as comp1 to the desktop at the moment. And then we're going to choose this little option here under render settings. Here where it says best settings, we're just going to click on that and you want to set the quality to best. You want to make sure the resolution is set to full and make sure the size matches the size of your actual composition. And then you can choose all of these other options right here and the frame rate. But for the most part, you're going to want to focus on the quality and the frame rate. And nothing else here will apply unless you have something specific in mind that you want to actually do. So we're going to click OK right here. And then under output module, we're going to click this little yellow thing that says loss list right here and this will bring up the actual render settings for how it's going to export. You can choose your format so if you want to export to any of these different formats I'm just going to leave mine as QuickTime for the time being but also choose H.264 if you want to try that but for the moment I'm just going to keep mine on QuickTime and then you can change your different channels right down here and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to check mark the audio output right here which will make it so that I can actually output audio since the composition that I'm working with right here does actually have an audio track if we don't check mark this box the audio will not export and you'll just have a video with no sound so then we're going to click this option up here for format settings and this will allow you to check your codec so I'm going to just choose mine to H.264 make sure the quality is at 100 and then if you want to go into these advanced settings such as change changing the bitrate or changing the keyframes, you can do that. I'm not going to do that right now for the sake of this video because I haven't found the perfect setting for myself quite yet. And then if you want to change the audio settings up here, you can also change the audio codec. And I'm going to leave mine to AAC and then we're just going to click OK and then click OK right here. And as you can see, the settings are set to custom. Now, if you want to add a second export, you can click this check mark right here, and that'll bring up a second output module. And as you notice, that will have a different setting right here where you can choose the same different export settings and you can also choose to name it to a different file name meaning that you can have this export to two different types of formats so if you want to try and test out different settings rather than having to export using one setting and then find out that it sucks and go to another one you can actually export the same video with using different settings to two different video files at the exact same time but for now, I'm going to get rid of that last one. And the final thing that I wanted to show you is if you want to check out your render settings, just click on this little arrow right here, and that will show you all of the different settings that you have available and that you've set currently. And you can also choose your post-render actions right here, but we, will, we don't want to do any of that. And then when you're done, just click on Render, and it should export your video. So that's essentially it. Now, this is kind of interesting because I've found that I get different results depending on my different export settings. Sometimes I've gotten videos that are a really low file size but look completely just terrible and then I've gotten videos that look good or amazing but they had relatively larger file sizes. So this is just something that you want to play around with and find the correct setting that works for you and your project. But I hope that answered your video tutorial Monday, or at least got him happy about me mentioning him. And uh, that's essentially it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.